Hey Miles here at Tactical Hive and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics in shooting and that's how to find your natural point of aim. But before I dive into the content, I want to demonstrate how powerful this is. I'm about, I have a target about 15 yards away. I'm going to run seven yards away from that target. I am going to stop myself, look at what I want to hit. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to take two shots. And what I want to demonstrate is that you can hit that target not by aiming with your eyes, but aiming with your body. So check it out. All right, that was a quick demonstration to show you that you can aim with your body. You don't necessarily need your eyes to aim for you. And this was at seven yards, me running in two shots without looking, and you'll see the right center mass. These would be good combat effective hits in a real self-defense scenario or situation. So natural point of aim is something that is extremely important to learn. And in my travels, learning and, and, and learning from different instructors, a lot of people do talk about it, but not a lot of people actually teach you how to establish it. It is this, it's kind of like this mystic, mysterious thing in shooting, but no one is able to distill it you know, really into uh, fine details. Probably one of the only groups that I know that have really been able to do that is Tackle Performance Center. And you've seen Ross and uh, my friend Ross in a number of our videos. So what I want to do is, is teach you how to find it in a very simple way. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you one quick way to do this so that you can get combat effective hits. So what is natural point of aim? Natural point of aim is exactly what it sounds like. It is where your body wants to aim naturally without you even looking. It's exactly what I did here. I ran up to a position, I looked at where I wanted to hit, I closed my eyes and my body just did all the aiming for me. And this is so important because in real life encounters, this is, this is also seven yards. So this is, you know, typical civilian encounters are about three to seven yards uh, based on stats. And this is something where if you've done a lot of force and force training and you may have heard a lot of people who have been in gunfights and firefights in many different contexts when things are up close and personal and you don't have the time and space to really move like you're, you're surprised by a threat you may not have the opportunity to aim or see your sights or your red dot no matter what anyone says and you know there's a kind of a joke that you know if ever you get get into a shooting and you really don't see your sights because in reality if you're surprised you're probably not going to see anything that to the law you always say that you see your sights though right you never want to say that you just shot blindly but the reality is you're probably not something surprises you're just gonna you're just gonna aim and fire Right? Um, particularly if you're not really trained very well or you don't have extensive training. So natural point of aim is going to allow you to shoot where your body wants to naturally shoot. And so I'm going to give you one way to find your natural point of aim. And the key distinction between this video and a lot of other videos is that I'm going to teach you how to find it, not just validate it. So a lot of people teach you how to validate it, but what to do once you know you have your body in the right position, what do you do at that point? How do you, how do you take it, that skill or that finding with you forever, okay? And as you move forward with your shooting career. One last thing before I dive into how to find it, notice that these are combat effective hits. They're not a small group. When it comes to natural point of aim, it can get you accurate. Accurate in the sense that if I wanted to hit a silhouette in the upper body, I just did, okay? So we're not looking for precision here. Natural point of aim is going to get you accurate, okay? Combat effective shots. So where do we go from here? We want to find the proper body position that allows our body to get these types of hits. Okay, what we're going to start off with is we're going to get in front of a target. It doesn't have to be seven yards, it can be a three yards, whatever distance you want. This is dry, okay, so you can do this on a wall, but you want something defined or vertical, or you can even put one, you know, a piece of tape, something, an actual target that you can aim at. That's pretty small, okay? And I'm going to use this paster and simulate like there's a smile calm on this paper target, but you can use anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in front, position myself in front of the target like I was shooting that target, and I'm going to get my dry gun in my hands. I'm going to look at where I want to hit. I'm going to close my eyes, exactly what I did in the beginning. Close my eyes, present, open my eyes, and see where I'm at. I'm in front of a target here. I've picked a target that is aligned with a spiral column. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in my natural stance. Whatever is comfortable here, I'm going to grip my gun. I'm going to look at that target, okay, what, whatever I want to hit. And I'm going to present my gun with my eyes closed. Right now I'm closing my eyes. I present. Now I open my eyes 
and see where my sights are. On purpose, so I am looking straight down. Imagine a line straight down this target. I am on purpose changing my natural point of aim so it's on the left. So right now, if you could actually see what I was looking at, my sights are about three inches to the left of that center line, three inches to the left. Okay, and so that means I'm not, I don't have my proper natural point of aim because it's off. I wanted to hit the center right in the spine, but I was off. So I'm here, again, just to repeat the process of, of establishing this here. I'm dry here, I'm going to get my grip, I close my eyes, I present, I open my eyes, whoa, I'm about three inches to the left of where I want to be. So that means my natural point of aim is not centered or it is not, I haven't found it yet. So now that I know that my aim is to the left of where I really want my body to aim by itself, what I'm going to do is with my eyes open, you're going to move just your lower body. Do not move your upper body at all, just move your lower body so that your sights are now lined up with the spinal column, okay? I don't move my upper body whatsoever. At this point, you're going to bring your gun back and just close your eyes, okay, same thing. I am now going to present, open my eyes, and right now, like magic, it's right there, dead center on the spinal column, right, If I, or I drew a line there. If it isn't, just make those micro adjustments. So if you didn't get it and the first, you know, I've done this many times, so I know my natural point of aim, but let's just say now you were, you overdid it and now you're on the right of the spinal column rather than the left. Now you just make the micro adjustments, get to the center, okay? Then from here, you're going to bring your gun down, close your eyes again, present, open your eyes. Are you centered or where are you at? And you keep on doing that until you find your natural point of aim. Where the, the true learning comes, because this exercise is a validation, but it also is now teaching you what your body position should be like in relation to the target. Okay, so what happens here is this, once, you, once you're able to get to the point after as many iterations it, it takes, once you're able to get to the point where you can close your eyes, present, and now when you open your eyes, you're centered, the learning happens at this point, the, the, the most important part, where now you need to understand the relation of your body to the target, okay? Looking at the target is just validation of your natural point of view, but now you need to understand where are your hips pointing? Where are your shoulders pointing? So on and so forth, okay? For the majority of you, and this is the formal technical definition of establishing a, a natural point of aim, is that you want your hips to be squared to whatever you want to hit. You want your shoulders to be squared to whatever one you're, you want to hit. Your spine lined up with whatever you want to hit and your nose and sights lined up, okay? Now your sights will automatically follow if everything is aligned. Shoulders, hips, the spinal column and your nose, when you present your sights or your red dot should also be lined up. So this, this is something you need to consider where if your skeletal alignment is off, we actually have a student who had some issues with his spine and when he was doing this exercise, his natural point of aim did not fit the definition of our natural point of aim, but he later found out he actually had some issues with his spine. It's not necessarily straight. So if you don't have any issues with your skeletal alignment, that will get you on par, on target and being very accurate without aiming with your sights, you're aiming with your body. Now this poses some considerations for those who, who shoot a little bit uh, with a, a slant in their stance, right? So you need to consider that where you may not be, you might not be able to establish this, your natural point of aim, the, the reality is if your body is facing here, so this is the target here, okay? See this target? I'm bladed off pointing here, and if I wanted to hit that, naturally speaking, if I just close my eyes, if I was disoriented, you know, spun around and raised my gun up, it would most likely be here, that steel plate over here, there's a target. So that's something to consider. It's not to say that it's the end of the world or you can't work with being bladed off, but it's, there's some considerations. The whole idea here about natural point of aim is to be able to aim with your body. And you know, I've, I've spoken to cops before too and people in the military where if they thought that a threat, something was going to happen and they're approaching a threat, a potential threat, they're already aiming with their body. Okay, they're already set up and ready to go. So they would be here, have their natural point of aim. So if anything happened in a split second where maybe they wouldn't be able to see their sights or the red dot, okay? The they are so close and so fast, they still can get an accurate shot on target. I hope you guys like that video on natural point of aim. A lot of people talk about it, but they don't really dive into the weeds and how to establish it and why it's super important. Hopefully this video gave you a little glimpse of it. There's a lot more to it. And when we teach natural point of aim, there are four levels to this so that 
at a certain point when you pass all four levels for exercises, it's like, it's like magic where you can literally look at whatever you want to hit and close your eyes and your sights will literally be there without you aiming with any vision. It is your body aiming. So give it a try. It is very powerful. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video is one of my favorite topics when it comes to marksmanship. So it's very powerful, incorporate into your training. Let us know how it goes for you in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.